Welcome to the project demonstration of battery management system. In this project, we have added the feature like passive uh, cell balancing. So for passive cell balancing means whenever the battery is not charging, then we need to check the each and every cell in a battery pack. We need to measure the voltage of the particular battery along with the current and also temperature. So in this project, we have the under voltage protection, over voltage protection and uh, over current with help of LM35 temperature sensor. So this one is the temperature sensor continuously monitor the uh, temperature of the battery packs and next passive cell uh, balancing by using this 8 relay board. So in this one relay is for charging and discharge, charging of total battery pack and next each and every relay will check the particular separate separately uh, particular cell uh, voltage with the help of one voltage sensor for this one and remaining four uh, battery packs sorry four relay board for this battery pack. So here the thing is like we are going to isolate the connection between the battery with the another two batteries when we are measuring this voltage and when we are measuring this voltage so this battery will be disconnected. So on LCD display we are going to measure the and uh, measure the voltage of uh, charging input voltage and battery pack voltage along with individual cells 1 and 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 2 so like this 3 battery cells voltage continuously displayed on the LCD screen along with SOC the state of charging so when you switch on the gate the system will capture the initial battery voltages consider V1 and V2 and then after some time it will check the what is the state of charging of the each and every battery pack not the battery cells so then it will calculate the SOC state of charging one and the next parallelly it will going to measure the each and every cell in a battery pack with the help of the relay board and voltage sensor. So here uh, input is we are going to provide the 230 volts input to the total system. So the transformer will step down the AC uh, 230 volts to 12 volts AC and with the help of this regulated power supply board. So it has a three uh, four stages. One is rectification, filtration and regulation. So three stages is there, uh, there to convert the mainly uh, AC to pure DC of 5 volts and then when we provide the 5 volts DC power source to the microcontroller it start reading input from the two battery packs from voltage sensors and it is going to control the isolate the each and every battery cell from the pack and measure the remaining battery voltages so that is continuously displayed on the screen and if the battery in the battery pack so if any single cell is less than 4 volt because we are using battery pack of 3 cells each cell consists of 4 volt 1 amp when it's not charging so when it is under charging so we will get maximum of 5 to 6 volts because in order to charge this battery we need to provide the 6 volts maximum and then if it is less than 4 volts then the system switch on the buzzer as it's a low voltage and next if is there any heat up is detected with the help of this LM35 then we'll get the audible buzzer alerts. So for each and every cell, this is a 4 volt should be less than and this is going to be the 8 volts if less than and this one is a 12 volts less than then the system give the buzzer alerts. So let us see the demonstration. So initially for passive cell balancing one we need to disconnect this 2 to 1. So these are the input voltages directly. So if you connect this it come under, uh, come under the active cell balancing. message initially and then so we can see that so the one cell in battery pack is less than 4 volt that's why we're getting the buzzer alert so here 3 nothing but cell 1 8 nothing but cell 1 plus cell 2 and cell 1 plus 2 plus 3 and 0 means there is no charging voltage given so when we are connected this back to the 2 to the 2 and 1 to the 1 so now it is coming under the charging as an active cell balancing as we can see the voltage input is 12 volts is given to the battery charging and 12 volts is the uh, total battery pack voltage and 9 volts is B power, uh, cell 1 plus cell 2 and uh, cell 1 voltage is displayed on the last. Right so as we can see the switching is happening. The system is switching between the relays for each and every battery pack. So as we discussed this cell is to measure the total voltage while charging and this one is cell 1, cell 1 plus cell 2, cell 1 plus 2 plus 3. So this is relay consists of ULN2803 driver. So to control this relays, 
the system microcontroller will trigger the ULM2803 motor dri driver so this driver will switch on the each and every relay based on the input from the microcontroller so the voltage sensor consists of potential divider circuit so that is nothing much so when uh, we are going to measuring the high voltage above 5 volts microcontroller can't measure the high voltages which is above 5 volts so then in order to reduce the voltage we need to use the potential divider circuit so here the potential divider ratio is 10 is to 1 so as we are using 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm so when we are going to be there we are going to measure the voltage across the 1 kilo ohm and in our program we are going to multiply that with 11 so as we know that uh, v in is equal to uh, v in total voltage equal to vr2 into r1 plus r2 by r2 that is the main voltage of formulation in the potential divider circuit so buzzer consists of a transistor so microcontroller can't drive the maximum current can uh, that to be handled for this buzzer then the microcontroller using uh, bc547 transistor as a switch so then the system will on the buzzer to on the buzzer we are going to on the uh, transistor and then it will on the buzzer so you can check the voltages now so first one is input charging voltage so when we disconnect these two again so you can get the exactly battery voltage input is 0 12 h and 4 because little bit of it's charged already done 